In this one, we're going to look at the silicon carbide igniter and how you can tell that it's failed. You don't need a meter. You don't need anything special except your eyes. So let's look at this. If you look towards the center there, you'll see an igniter. Now if you see that white spot in the igniter, that's where it's broken. Now we're going to pull this out of here and we're going to look a little closer at it. Okay, here's a look at the uh, igniter out of the furnace. And you can kind of see the break there. Of course the white is a, is a giveaway. Uh, I'll get a little closer yet just for the heck of it and we'll uh, we'll see what what it looks like really close up okay here's a real close up of that break you can see the break right there in the center uh, you can also see what that thing appears to be made out of uh, <laughs> it looks like a bunch of rocks pushed together anyway that's where the break is and you can see the white around it but this is what happens to these things they heat and cool so many times and there's pretty much a set number of heating and cooling cycles and it breaks and they always break around right around in that spot uh, usually you see them right there uh, they'll begin to break and the uh, resistance will go up I've got a video on the resistance of these things I'll reference it but uh, it'll start rising it's actually broken then but it eventually will just kind of spark in there and when it does it just stops working sometimes for a short time they will glow real bright right in that spot so most of it will be yellow and it'll be white there just real hot looking and they're they're pretty much ready to break right then so that's a broken hot surface igniter